played in a really, really long time. So I think that that profile was correct. It looks like the last uh, marked placement that we had from him was Big House 8 in 2018, which is kind of crazy. Uh, really good showing here and looking to take on Hella the Falcon for a top eight qualifier. I thought that was uh, your boy, whatever, the Biggie. I thought that oh, was it? That yeah, okay, I think yeah, so. I mixed those up, yeah. Either way, Hella versus Fancris. Uh, Fancris already showing us that he has a very, very patient style. Um, doesn't get the edge guard here, but I think that's valuable in the Falcon matchup. It just depends on how you want to play it. And I think this is one where we really see the style of the Falco player start to show. Yeah, for sure. And and the big question is going to be kind of how Hella approaches this mid range here, uh, where it gets a little bit uncomfortable for Falco to shoot a laser. Uh, doesn't want to give him, of course, a bunch of time to set up shop, but Fancris is just all over it. Oh my god. Yeah, that... Oh, by the way, JFlex did say bear, F-Tilt, and Nera to shield. Interesting. Those <laughs> F-Tilt, I think, is definitely up there for me. Bear up there. But Nera to shield, like, Nera wouldn't have... I would have thought Fair would have been there as well. But going back to the match. Yeah, I mean, for all we know, he could have been talking about three Falcon moves right there as we saw Hella kind of pick up the stock with basically all of those. Um, oh, barely doesn't grab the ledge there. Maybe was expecting a ledge snap and didn't quite make it. Uh, interesting drift back, though, and loses the stock uh, quite a bit early. A couple of tech flubs there. It looked like he missed an L cancel on that down air, and um, Hella also kind of flubbing it a bit. But yeah, right now, that to me looked like a game where, at the very least, with Hella, like a little like needing of a warm up, you know what I mean? Like, kind of maybe he gave him a yeah. hand warmer. Do you know? Am I wrong here? Or? Uh, I think it's it's almost like what we saw in Fancris's set versus Sidward, where it's kind of like once you can find. And Falcon, of course, I, again, like the, the bingo card word that people use is momentum, right? So Falcon being momentum driven character, I think Fancris really found the rhythm here and just did not let go for the entire game one. Especially since Falco is also another huge momentum character. Yeah. But let's see what he can get off of this opening. I like the choice for up air. I think up air in general against Falcon, pretty good move. Barely misses that down, uh, down air off the weak hit side B or the reverse hit side B, not a weak hit. How about the choice for Pokemon Stadium as the Falcon's counter pick? Yeah, like, I don't think it's necessarily bad. I, like, the thing is, is <clears throat> it depends on the kind of style of player you're playing. And I think, like, something like, say, Dreamland might be a fun pick for Falcon. But if you're playing someone who's, like, a more zoning, patient Falco, which I kind of feel like Thancris is after seeing him play against Luigi, um, then maybe you don't want to do that. You want less space, but you don't want to go necessarily to Yoshi's. Like, wow. it's hard. So much. Oh, he had so much edge coverage there and then just misses the edge guard to finish it up. He did all the hard stuff. Ooh, good DI on the up air. Just barely. I, I, interesting choice not to go for the F smash and the laser reset, but it seemed like it was a good uh, option anyway with the down air. Ah, uh, mm. again, bit of a bit of a flub. Cost him the stock. Hella at kind of high percent for that one, so maybe less impactful, but this is kind of sketchy, right? Because I think Hella's getting caught quite a bit by the edge, and Fancris is just showing that he has such good corner pressure. Yeah, and, and we're just not seeing Hella convert off of the openings in maybe like the same modern way we see a lot of other Falco, uh, Falcons do it. Like the way he covers certain options is a bit more like committal i guess as we speak though what a what a stock out of hella tries to go for the forbidden up tilt and barely doesn't connect Fancris resets to neutral and it's back to the bear zone should be oh i love that waveland grab and does get the knee there so that was a really really good call out um doesn't get the grab either this is you know chance for a comeback Lovely, yeah, a, right? couple, a couple flubs there, and yeah, all you got to do is pick up the F smash there when the Falcon's coming from above. Fancris looking at a 2 0 potentially. No a way. Okay. On I thought he was going to stomp again. Yeah, I don't love the crouch cancel choice there. I think, you know, I get what he's going for, but probably a bit too greedy. Like, there's times where crouch cancel is like really, really big brain, and there's times where crouch cancel just reads as like lazy to me. 
Um, mm -hmm. But he does manage to clean up the game anyway, so good stuff to Fancris, winning that 2-0. Yeah, Hello really uh, coming into form a little bit for this second game had kind of a pair of very explosive almost stocks that didn't quite go the distance there. Um, and I think he was starting to kind of put the pieces together, right? Like the dash back stomps to hit with the backside of it. Um, just kind of like hard reading Fancris' defensive, defensive options. It was really good, just uh, just didn't have enough time left in the set to really see it come to fruition. So 